Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. Today we are making fall fabric clusters. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm going to call them. So I went to our local thrift shop and I found this material and I thought it screamed fall because it's got sunflowers and leaves, yellows and blues script more leaves more sunflower more script and more leaves and i just thought how perfect this would be for fabric swatch making and so this is going to be my base i think i'm not going to tear it this time because um it's very like, I don't like the frays. I don't know. Sometimes I like the fray, and sometimes I don't. This time, I don't. So that's going to be one. And I like that it's different colors, because it gives you different um, things to work with here. So this is going to be another one of the Ready, Set, Stash series that Meg from Chasing Retro is, is hosting and so basically it's if you want to mass make or make a lot of things then this is a good way to do that and so I was also at the dollar store and found some goodies I was actually going to make these um, a little bit longer. Let's see. And I may not get all these done either, so. Alright, totally but there for now. Then I also picked up some Ada cloth or is it Ida? I don't ever know how to pronounce it. But I do like to use it. It reminds me of burlap but it's not as it doesn't fray as much, I don't think. So these will be good for um, using as um, clusters in your journal. You can attach them to a page. You could attach them to some other piece of ephemera lots of different ways you could use these have you been taking part in the ready set stash challenge it's not very much of a challenge i mean it's it's fun and it's um productive, at least it's been for me, but it hasn't been a challenge in that it's difficult to um, participate in because um, there's, there's just so much to choose from and there's no, um, there's no, it's so relaxed, it's not very restrictive at all so basically you just pick from the list that she's got there and um, make something and do a video on it if you like you don't have to obviously not everybody has the ability or the capabilities or the tools but um, she's uh, Meg's got Two playlists so far. I don't know if she's going to carry this on to one more month or not, but 
wouldn't hurt my feelings if she did. All right, so then I picked up a whole bunch of lace. You know, it's weird with our thrift store. Last time I went there, I could find next to no lace. And this time there was a lot of everything and it seemed all seasonal stuff. And I'm like, really? We're doing the seasonal thing in the craft store or in the thrift stores now? So I have to find the end of this one. It's really pretty. This one would actually make nice um, appliques if I cut around them as well. So I was very happy to find this one, that's for sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to layer it this way or that way. Could go either way. Maybe for this one I'll do it the long way. And gee, these would make good fabric flips if you really wanted them to. Well, maybe that's a little bit more of what I'm making here. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I have made fabric clusters before. I mean, I guess I have. I just... You know, when you work with different things... You tend to think of it as something you haven't done before. <laughs> At least that's my, that's how I see it. I like that lace in the front and I also like it in the back, so. Maybe it has to stick out a little bit. There's no rule that says we have to layer these perfectly straight. Hopefully you all don't have OCD, otherwise this might be a problem. Alright, I think that's good for that lace. Let me see some of the other ones I've got. And two, I have some more fabric here that I like. I wanted to add some of this. This is for my sister. My sister Maria, who loves me and sends me nice things. And she loves me without sending things too. It's not that that's a prerequisite. needs to be smaller. We'll see. We'll see what comes along here. I'm going to do this in another spot or two. This looks very much fall lake to me. I especially want it in these blue parts where there is no yellow. And then there's this one. I think this would be nice where there is no brown. Or not much brown. This one needs something. I even found some lace that has gold in it white though I'm not sure oh and I found this eyelet lace look at that I'm gonna see if I double up on this one I think one is actually, well, I don't know, do some fun stuff here. And then I found this other one yet. Huh, I got quite a few. 
I said to my husband, who was with me, of course, um, I just couldn't leave it there. There was so much pretty lace. And I don't get there as often as I used to, so time to stock up. This would be another one for um, if you needed to harvest applique. Pretty. I'm just gonna cut a few. I mean, I I also like new lace, but it's easier for me to use. The stuff I get at the thrift store. I figure probably because it's already left over from something. So it's, I don't know, more justified to cut into. Am I alone on that one? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that's another one side seems a bit more shiny. That's all right. It's easier to tell which is the, or maybe I'm just imagining things. I don't know. Yeah, so this is a lot of fun. I am enjoying playing with fabric more and more. I took sewing in high school, home economics it was called then, and it just, it just seemed like so much work and it did, I just didn't really get it. And now I had to actually start with paper and then once I did that it became easier. I don't know why, maybe no, I think because there's less pressure when you're sewing on paper, because it's just paper. And I got this blue. I think I want to cut into this one as well. It's funny, I wasn't into fall much at all until I saw Darcy at, oh, what's her name again, at her channel, um, Darcy's Misadventures in Mixed Media. That's a mouthful for me, but um, she had some really cute fall ideas. She was drawing leaves and they were so pretty. And she used her jelly prints to do that. So I was thinking I might have to do the something similar. I'm kind of out of jelly plate stuff, so I'll have to make some more. I think for that one, I would like to double that up. So what do you think? Is that nice? Can't hear you. <laughs> I think I like that blue and some other areas as well. I'm keeping some of these bits because they might come in handy for something else later. I think for that one, I'd like to ink it. That sounds strange. So maybe I'll ink all these and then I'll come back or fast forward this or something. And then I think I need some of this one yet. I think we're almost.
almost ready for the hot glue. I suppose you could sell these if you really wanted to. But. Yeah, where's the end? There it is. Should have two. I do like this one. I haven't actually done a whole lot of these, but I figure you only get better by doing it more often, so. Don't second guess too much or you won't do it at all. That's been my experience. All right, so then what I thought would be nice would be some of these leaves. And they might, they're actually wood. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, I do like that green one there. And they have different sizes, so that's even better. I thought it was all one size and I thought they might be too big, but now they're not. All right, this is going to be good, I think. Okay, that's one. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's see about this one. I feel better about doing um, fall embellishments this year probably because I'm putting out a lot of journals and I know that I'm putting out a lot of journals so it's easier to get into hmm. obviously I don't want to do green on all of them but what do you do when it looks good on all of them maybe that one there Maybe that one there. And actually, I don't think I will put leaves on all of them, so. All right, let's do this one. Lots of layers. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's good. Okay, so that one's done. Drop some glue. Let's do this one. have to get smart when I put the glue down so I don't burn myself. So 
Sorry about how noisy that is. I didn't realize it when I first started that it was so loud. Okay, that's another. That's three. This actually isn't taking as long as I thought. I think you just kind of have to have a rough idea of what you want to use. Maybe. Or maybe I've done a few of them now that it's gotten easier. So for this one, I want to do something different. Also got some gold colored bulb pins or gourd pins and they're a tacky gold color but I figure that's okay. The price was definitely right. So. So this one can be hung on like a paper clip or again it could be, could add a charm to it. In fact I might, well I won't do that one now because this one, all my charms are silver. But you could do like a button on there. You could even do like a flower. Something like that. I don't mind that. Okay, so the top row is all done. Hmm, I might want to do some more with flowers. My um, coffee dyed it, so it looks a little more fallish, doesn't it? Um, too, I'm still really enjoying these leaves. Okay, what happened here? This one only has a couple of layers, like four layers, not six. I do like the zigzagged edge. I don't have my buttons out right now, so. Just stick that flower in. Hmm. I do like that. I think it's probably really hard to go wrong with these because 
um, I mean, fabric and lace go together naturally, right? So... Okay, so I found a couple of buttons. See how that works. It should look great as well. And again, I guess I didn't get the same amount of fabric on all of them. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. The green button has some gold on it, so that should work. Not too bad. I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but... Honestly, I was trying to decide last night what to make my videos on today. And I couldn't sleep because I kept going through all my options. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, maybe I won't do one at all, because if I can't decide, then that's not going to be very pretty. So, but when I got to my craft room, it was like, okay, let's just get organized and things seem to take care of itself after that, so... Okay, so I really don't know what time we're on here, but we've got about five left to finish. Won't make that four. So those are done. That's done. Yeah, oh, we only have three left. Okay, we're going doing really good, I think. I want that at the top, I think. I put that on the front. Oh well, we'll have to see if we can keep picking up the wrong scissors. I should have maybe angled it. There we go. We can see some of that through now. Yeah, so if you just want to craft and have some company while you're doing it, you could turn on those playlists that Meg has made and just um, have some company. I think it's a great 
A great thing she did there. Amaka, the best part for me always is meeting all the different people. I've met some really nice people um, doing this. So. Wow, this glue string feels like a spider web. It's pretty strong. Okay, two more. Again, I need some more fabric. Why did I stop? the blue. I think I want it like so. Yeah, sorry, I don't have a whole lot to say. I usually only talk about the crafting aspect, so. When it's this easy, it's kind of hard to fill in the gaps with things to say. All right, do I want another button? Actually, that wouldn't look too bad. Try that. I don't know, I might have to make a bunch more of these because these are too fun. And they wouldn't have to all be fall ones either. Something like that. Okay, one more. Okay. I think I need one more leaf. Yep. All right. Well, there you go. We finished. How many did we do? Six and four, that's 10. I don't know, that seems to be my numbers, 10. All right, so that's it for today and I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Let me know if you're making fabric clusters and what's your favorite way to use them. All right, thanks for watching and have a blessed day. See you next time, bye for now.